everyone welcome back to my channel that i would be good i'm kelly and today i'm gonna just do a little brief overall summary of the channel and how we've gotten to this point i started this channel in approximately may of 2017 under the name on my way and it was primarily focused upon my journey uh, my weight loss journey through intermittent fasting and then it turned into interme intermittent fasting and keto and then I decided that I wanted to change the name uh, to incorporate I don't even know but I just wanted to change it so that it would reflect more than just a weight loss journey so I changed it to rebellious Cal because to be honest it was just because it rhymed and then I knew that it was something, uh, there was something missing and so I ended up, if you watched a previous video, decided that I would change it to that I would be good and the overall encompassing idea behind that change was that despite all of the things that were a mess in my life at the time, that I still wanted to be good. I wanted to progress, I wanted to improve, I wanted to change and I knew that the, the only way that true change was going to be possible was going to be through the atonement of the Savior, Jesus Christ. And so at a very low point in my life, I asked, basically asked Heavenly Father if he would be my counselor. At the time, I things were a mess and I was very busy and I wasn't able to book an appointment or make arrangements to speak with anyone and so I began opening up to my Heavenly Father in prayer more than I ever had before and things started coming to me in different forms. Uh, I'd find scriptures or general conference talks would show up in my YouTube feed or um, I'd be led to an article or things would just be showing up and over the course of the past 18 months I've I've learned so many things and have increased in light and knowledge and a lot of things have helped me learn new things about myself and new modalities for healing that have helped me eliminate previous coping mechanisms. That was better. I've always had a passion for knowledge and have been inspired or intuitively led to seeking out things for learning and for growth. And I realize now that all of those things that I was learning and improving and growing and changing all of those things prepared me for the difficulties that were going to be lying ahead in the form of having my husband move out in preparation for me finding a place to live with our children and then a car accident and then not knowing if I was going to have a job when I moved into the city to everything else that happened in that time period and then all of the blessings that came um, that I was able to find a place to live that I was able to seamlessly find a vehicle to replace the one that was written off which was a total blessing in disguise um, that I was able to get the children into good schools and that I was able to find something that was going to be full-time and permanent over the summer. Um, and the things that have followed have just been so plentiful and abundant. And I'm just so grateful for the things that I've learned about and the abilities that we have to turn to our Heavenly Father and our Savior and through the Holy Ghost, through the sanctification of the Holy Ghost, we can be improved. 
not that we are improving, but that we are granted that improvement. And it's almost like the true version of ourselves is in there. It's just we can't remember. And we just sometimes get flickers of glimpses and those moments are so precious. And I'm grateful for this weekend where I will get to hear and have already heard some wonderful messages from the leaders of my church, um, basically like spiritual TED Talks, 10 plus hours of spiritual TED Talks. And I'm uh, looking forward to more further light and knowledge. I'm grateful that you took the time to stick it out and watch through. And if you haven't already, please like it. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can make sure you're aware of any time I release something, which will hopefully be more frequent, which is what I always say. It's going to be my mantra. But I'm grateful that you guys stuck around to watch through. You guys take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.